Welcome to Scream Junkies. Or should I say, Scream Junkies? <laughs> Guys, we're talking about some of the most terrifying movies of all time today. Let's get ready to get spooky. First off, he is a very funny and spooky writer. He's the writer of Seinfeld, The Purge, John Ford. Hi. He is a spine-tingling gentleman who hosts one of the best movie review shows around, Chris Stuckman. And this man is a monster, a mad monster. He's the head monster at Mad Monster Magazine. Welcome back, Eben Magar. We're talking scary movie moments today. What are the elements that make a scary movie moment? For yeah. me, more so than the uh, jump scare, is the sense of dread. The feeling that you're, you know, in the roller coaster, you can't get off. Oh, man. You know, for me, that was uh, The Exorcist. You know, when Marin and Karis have to go into the room with Reagan, and you just don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, that's such a classic moment. Be gone! Uh, in the name of the Father uh, and of the Son! I'll throw one out there. The hand reaching out of the burnt uh, rubble from Carrie oh, yeah. at the end. That's one of the like original like jump scare moments, that hand coming out of the grave. Mm -hmm. Evan? Clown from Poltergeist. <laughs> Fuck that clown. <laughs> So we had a few of the big ones there. Now let's uh, talk about ones that we individually really love that stand out. Gremlins is one of the first horror movies I remember like <laughs> seeing in theaters. Specifically the scene they come in, you, you hear the Christmas music and that scene like takes all these things you have these really warm associations with and like f***s with them and, and throws them into this nightmare about your mom getting murdered. <laughs> Gremlins ruined Christmas yes. for you. Or made it better, because now, oh, okay. yeah. like, now right? Christmas is like Halloween too. Chris? One of the things that really surprises me in movies is when a film is able to take something that you normally view a certain way and show you it in a different way. And for instance, the film Signs really did that for me when yeah. I was younger. First time you see the alien in Signs is on a handheld shaky cam Brazilian video with kids screaming and then Joaquin Phoenix is watching that on the television. So you are in the role of your average person at home who's experiencing an alien invasion. I actually had my, my legs like up in the seat and I was hugging them. And I've never forgotten that scene ever to this day. Yeah, Eben, is there another one that uh, really grabs you? When it first came out, Zelda from uh, Pet Cemetery got me. The, uh -huh. the sister with the twisted back. Never get out of bed again. Never get out of bed again! And then a different kind of terror for me, Awakenings. The idea of, uh, you know, Robert De Niro <laughs> knowing he's shutting down. It has that, like, Johnny got his gun moment mm -hmm. where, like, you know, you're there, but you're trapped inside your body oh. just watching him shut down. To me, that was pretty terrifying. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. something just, like, so psychologically troubling about that. Yeah. Put, yeah. put Michael Myers like, oh, in my imagine. closet over that any day. Let's keep going. What are some other um, movie moments that haunt you? One that was really unexpected was a movie where I was sitting it as a kid thinking, Harrison Ford is so awesome, I want to be Indiana Jones. And then all of a sudden, someone's getting their heart ripped out of their chest. <laughs> what the hell happened? John, do you have another one that uh, grabs you? But I remember like being like maybe 12 and watching a Videodrome. James Woods it gets these like mysterious videotapes. It was this weird like mirror moment where it's like I rented this weird scary videotape and now I'm watching like James Woods watch these like weird scary videotapes. I'll throw one out there that really just grabbed me as a kid from something you would never expect. Um, tell him Large Marge sent you. Nice. From uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Nice. Pee Wee's Big Adventure, one of my all time fave movies. Yeah. Um, and it's delightful, except for that moment that is horrifying. Yep. And when they finally pulled the driver's body from the twisted, burning wreck, it looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of those things people remember uh, bigger and scarier than they were, like the opening of Twilight Zone, one of my favorite horror film openings. Yes, sir. You know, want to see something really scary? Scare me. <laughs> yeah, the Dan Aykroyd werewolf yes! scared the shit out of me. So another one that hit me from out of nowhere, unexpected, Mulholland Drive. Yeah, you got it. When the homeless guy behind the dumpster, uh, behind the diner, uh, just, it's yeah. startling. Speaking of uh, domestic 
horror films from an older time period, Wait Until Dark mm -hmm. with Audrey Hepburn came out in 1967, I believe, and Alan Arkin plays a killer in that movie. Audrey Hepburn's blind throughout the entire movie. And there's a great shot at the end where she starts to realize someone's in her house. She busts all the lights out and Alan Arkin now can't see. And then he just bursts out from behind the wall with his knife and gets her across the heel. <laughs> To me, it's one of the scariest movie moments of the 60s. What is your recommendation for the scary movie to watch with the most sense of dread? He's gone! The evil is gone from here! He's gone! He's gone from here! The evil is gone! Halloween, I mean, you cannot go wrong with that. And one of the scenes that creeps me out every time is this really long take of Jamie Lee Curtis walking down the sidewalk and you just see Michael, uh, his shoulders come into frame and you hear the... I would be terrified if I saw that on the street. You know, it, oh, it yeah. brought it home. Or even nice. just the, hey freak, speed kills. Hey jerk, speed kills. God, can you take a joke? This should be a cautionary tale of, you don't know who you're talking to, shut up. John, are you gonna watch anything in particular to uh, um, give yourself a scare? Man, I might, I could recommend a film currently in theaters. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I just, I saw The Guest. It's a weird, like it's a hybrid of like, John, of like Halloween, uh, like the Bourne movies. Drive. And Drive, and it's just like, definitely it's worth, definitely worth seeing, worth seeing definitely. it. Nice, we've hit old, we've hit new, we hit everything in between. Hey, what's your scariest movie moment? The one that haunts you when you close your eyes at night and it's still in your head? <laughs> Let us know in the comments section below. The best answer, we're gonna send you a spooky Screen Junkies t-shirt. And I wanna thank my gruesomely spooktacular panel. John Ford, Chris Stuckman, Eben Magar. Thanks for being here, fellas. And thank you for watching the show. I'm Hal Rudnick, hit me up on Twitter. Bye bye. Do you have any idea what we can expect in Justice League Part One? I'm assuming they're going to build the dark side. If yeah. Marvel is going to push Thanos off to the side for a while, uh -huh. that would make the most sense to seize that opportunity to have the big Darth Vader of the DC Universe.